Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you today about this guy right here. I'm doing a review on the Milwaukee Impact Wrench with the quick lock system. This is brand new out. And I'm just gonna show a comparison with lag bolts. Of course, this thing is overkill for this lag bolt, but it's all I have right now that I'm doing. So I'm gonna do one with the Milwaukee 18 M18 Impact Driver, and then one with the big boy right here. So this is a 3 8 inch, five inch long, impact so this is with the impact driver now with the quick lock <coughs> thing is a monster one more time quick lock this thing driving five inch, three eighths inch lag bolts into the studs. Uh, I was putting up a, a a power rack, a folding power rack, and I did a comparison on this one and just the normal M18 impact driver, which is an incredibly good tool uh, and doesn't struggle at this at all. It just is not as powerful as that thing, and that was definitely evident. Uh, but what I will say is, you know, there is definitely a power difference when, between the two amp hour battery and the five amp hour battery. Now, now the kit I got comes with the five amp hour batteries and I'll show you, you might not be able to hear it, but I'll go ahead and do it. That's the two amp, the five amp. Definitely more power out of a five amp. And I've, I've heard that the brushless do that. Um, I have not seen a difference as I'm drawing to the wall, but then again, I haven't tested this thing at its max yet. Uh, I do I do some rafter work, uh, some, some studs, some rafter, um, some, some beams, cross beams, but I'm not a uh, lineman. And this, this is actually specifically built for a lineman, which I would tell you if I was a lineman, I would absolutely love this thing. For what I do, it is incredibly good. Uh, that The handle is longer. One of the, the key features of the thing is the handle is longer. And I did not know I was gonna like that, but when I'm up there working with this guy, uh, you know, the, the, this guy is pretty good, except for when I have my gloves on. Sometimes I wear some pretty thick gloves or when it's cold outside. Uh, they don't fit in this handle really well. They kind of get caught down here or I'll end up doing that to try and give myself some extra room. Well, I was working earlier with this thing and I had one of my larger gloves on and I'll tell you, it was nice. It sat right in there like it was supposed to. I had no problems with any room whatsoever. Very, very pleased with that. I thought this was gonna look weird. Um, not that it looked matters, but I thought it was gonna get in the way hanging down longer. It's really not that much longer. If you put them next to each other, it's about a half an inch longer. Definitely worth it. I like it. I like it if they put that option on these, I might even consider getting one of those just for outside work and when it gets cold around this place. Um, the other option that it has is that. So it, if you don't like that, like so let's say you buy this for working on cars or something like that, you probably don't want that. I get up on a ladder a lot, uh, uh, that's, that's gonna be a lifesaver. It is extremely thick and it's welded very well and it's held on there with two bolts and it's firm. There's no plastic up in here. This is, this is all metal, plastic here, but this is all metal right in here and it's bolted to the metal. That is awesome. Uh, if you don't like it, you can just take it off, but I love it. Uh, one thing I did not think I was gonna like, now, it doesn't have an anvil. It's got this quick lock, this 7 16 quick lock, which is kinda like, you know, you're smaller, you're smaller, quick locks. But, um, clearly a lot bigger, 7 16 I didn't think I was gonna like it because I wanted the anvil uh, on this when I'm doing uh, larger bolts. I like to just be able to pop it on, pop it off. I love it, I love it and I fell in love with it the first time I used it because you can just buy these little anvils right here. This is, this is a, um, a Proto 7 16 hex half inch anvil that just drops right in there. And now I can do any of my larger bolts, any, any ones I want, just pop right on there. And I also have the option later on to quick disconnect and just drop one of my big bits in there uh, if I want to use one of my auger bits or if I got if I got to drill a hole through a stud or something like that I can just drop my auger bit on there and Drive right through it and then pop my bolt on and drive my uh, my large bolt through the uh, The stud or the beam or whatever I'm working on I like that a lot So this is a feature I wasn't sure I was gonna like I wasn't quite sold on it I, I thought you know a torque wrench with a with a quick lock. Ah, eh, love it So if you're not careful um, or you use too much tool for the job, which in this case I did, just trying to demonstrate how this thing works. I went ahead and I uh, sheared off this, this is a 3 8 inch 
it was a five inch lag bolt and it just sheared it right off. Uh, this thing started to push through the wood, but it was hitting it so hard that it sheared. Now I did have it set on number two torque, just trying to see what the different speeds were on this impact wrench. Uh, and that's probably what did it because the number one speed that I've been using or the number four speed that I've been using all day hasn't caused any problems at all. So this thing right here did a great job. They both had five amp hour batteries I was running. Uh, this one did a great job at driving these lags in. That's what it's for. Um, it definitely was not nearly as easy as this one, of course, but it did a good job driving the lags in. I had a hard time getting them in towards the back half, and sometimes it wouldn't pull the, the actual board to the wall. Whereas this guy right here, like I said, it sheared off a bolt. Very impressed, thoroughly impressed. Loads of power. I am not sure yet, I'm gonna test it, but I'm pretty sure that my 3 8 inch um, attachment might not survive the lower end torques on this thing, because this is 750 pounds of torque, and I'll tell you, it, it has all of it. It is a monster. So that's, uh, that's my review on this, the little video I'm gonna shoot on this, and uh, I hope you enjoy it.